we're talking about how to make a godly appeal. We began this two or three weeks ago, and and right now what we're talking about is uh, to determine the right timing for your appeal. You just ask these questions, and the last week's question was, is is this a time my authority can actually give me the attention and so they can think through it? They're not broadsided by the question. Well, the next thing is this. Will my authority understand that I'm ready to make sacrifices in order for the appeal to be granted? In other words, I'm, I will help. I will be glad to help to help make the change or make my appeal uh, to be granted. Uh, number three question, will my authority be able to count on my acceptance of his decision if he denies the appeal? Will my authority be able to count on my acceptance of his decision even if the, if he denies the appeal? The, all authorities are not going to agree on, on everything, okay? And, and I'm, not, I'm not really, listen, I, I know the fundamentals of the faith, okay? In other words, if someone comes up to me and says, there's another way of salvation. Well, there's no way that I, I can accept that, okay? And, and, uh, but if, if the fundamental doctrines are not in question, uh, then I, or if I feel like biblical uh, purity is being questioned, okay? So uh, I'm not going to be able to accept the decision of authority that goes against the Bible, okay? So, uh, even, but, but if it's not a biblical thing, I need to be willing to say, you know what, I, I can accept their decision. Number four principle is provide accurate information. So often, you know, not the whole story. You got to give the whole story. You need to lay out all the accurate information, not twist it. And, um, and, and so that's one of the principles of making an appeal. And as you prepare your appeal, ask the following questions. To the best of my ability, have I honestly and thoroughly evaluated the circumstances? Have I given special consideration to my strengths and my weaknesses before I make the appeal? Have I provided all the pertinent facts required to make the wise decision? And have I thought about the way that my authority will relate to the information that I'm presenting? And have I acknowledged any God-given hesitations about the appeal? Have I acknowledged any God-given hesitation about that? In other words, have something in your heart has it just said, you know, no, nah, this isn't the time, or that's not the way you should do it. You've got to be sensitive to the Spirit of God when you're making an appeal to an authority. So words, again, we're talking about these seven principles when presenting a wise and effective appeal. Number five is have right attitudes. Have right attitudes. In other words, you have to have a spirit of reverence, okay? Acts 23, 1 through 5. The Bible says, Paul earnestly, beholding the council, said, Men and brethren, I have lived in all good conscience before God unto this day. And the high priest and Ananias commanded them that stood by to smite him on the mouth. And then said Paul unto, unto him, God shall smite thee, thou white at wall, for sittest thou to judge me after the law? and commands to be smitten contrary to the law. And they that stood by said, Revilest thou God's high priest? And then said Paul, I wish not, brother, that he was the high priest. For it is written, Thou shalt not speak evil of the ruler of thy people. And so Paul uh, recognized the guy was wrong. The guy was wrong. But you got to understand, your attitude has to be right. You have to always hold respect. In other words, as a child going to a parent, listen, your dad, as you make the appeal, you understand you're not to be disrespectful. You're to show reverence. You're not to take something publicly against your dad or publicly against people that are in authority uh, showing irreverence to their their position. Paul wouldn't do that. If anybody, Paul was a godly man. Yeah, Paul walked with God. And Paul violated that principle. And then he repented and said, oh my goodness, I didn't know. I uh, I, that I was speaking evil of the ruler of thy people. And so these principles are very important. Have a right attitude, reverence, okay? And then we're going to look at this next one. Next week, we're going to see the right attitude of loyalty, okay? We'll take up here next week.